Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time at my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. Ooh, my extended beautiful family. My nose start itching real quick. Um, thank you so much for the love and support, um, sharing the videos, give me a thumbs up, dropping comments, and just spreading the loving vibes is truly appreciated. You know, the ones I give out, you're turning it back with love, and I greatly appreciate that. So with that being said, much love to all, namaste, love and blessings, love and life, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your impact, vid, gift, and how it impacts your life on, you know, on a spiritual level and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video is to give you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are truly going through something right now, need confirmation and validation towards their soul purpose or even their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving me. It's so greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And I had to turn the music up so you can be able to hear it. It is like really giving me these euphoric vibes. I'm just like, Ooh. but it feels good though. Road to nothingness. Find your true self meditation. A -M -A -S -M -R. 3D binary cricket sounds. I didn't hear no cricket sounds, but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and place that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, never argue with people that stay arguing with themselves. I was like, I seen that post the other day. I was like, wow, that is powerful. It's true. Because it's like sometimes there'll be so many people are coming towards you, especially when you're heading towards a big blessing or heading towards the right path, doing good for yourself. Not allowing, you know, your past trauma, the memories that come up like past vomit, you know, trigger you in any way. You know, you know, your things happen this life you know everything has a balance to it but it's just like when it comes to people you know as being a hey oh excuse me i got this burp that's trying to come out oh excuse me that came from a happy place a pit of happiness um, excuse me i'm so uh, so sorry i didn't mean to do that it was rude but um when you know you're heading towards a positive path you will have people question you you will have people that doubt you you even have people that you know want to constantly test you so it's like when I'm going through my stuff, you know, I know I send out positive videos, you know, I know I send out positive vibes towards people, but there's people that come in, they already know they don't really care for me, give me thumbs down or even question me like, what are you talking about? Do you know what you, I'm like, obviously more people got onto it. It must be full, foolproof because you weren't able to understand it. Or it's just the fact is when you want to question somebody and just want to throw negative vibes towards the positive situation, you know, that's people. But it's just like, it's not going to allow you, it's not going to allow you to shake you. Basically, it's not going to shake you when it comes towards you. You know, people argue with themselves every day. They see fault within themselves so that they will send, to, to, you know, choose you to be able to, you know, lash out on. I've happen, had it happen to me so many different times. And there's times I even had to laugh. Like, I just had me a video the other day. They said, are you venting or are you just trying to teach somebody? What you trying to do? I didn't even give that response. Like I tell y'all, sometimes the best way to respond to a fool is not respond at all. You don't have to sit up here and have people question your existence or question your, you know, insult your intelligence and stuff like that. I have people do that all the time. But it's like, uh, sometimes I allow the, you know, like I told y'all before, sometimes I allow the comments to come in just for you to allow yourself to, you know, there's, you know, I got little bugs. They always catch on quick. Like maybe you did it. I always got that one or two person that always want to <laughs> say something before I can say it. I'm like, thank you. I'm glad I wasn't the only one that caught on to that. But it's a blessing, you know, when people come at you like that because it allows you to be tested. And it's just like sometimes God allows those situations to come in. Like I tell you, God and devil be having a relay race at times. Because devil be like, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in there. You know, throw this in the mix of their positive 
journey because I already know how to get them. I already know how to poke a jab at them and I know that they'll retaliate against that. Because like I told y'all before, y'all, I used to be that one that always had to have the last word. I always had to be that one that was like, when you clap back at me, I'm going to clap back at you. Or if you keep poking me, I'm that type of person. Like, I'm a lion that ain't ate in like two or three weeks. So that's not a good idea to put me towards that, you know, towards that corner. And it's like, sometimes I know when to respond. You know, sometimes I respond, put it that way. Not sometimes, I know. No, there's sometimes I choose to respond and sometimes I just delete you. I ain't got time. I will delete you and block you from you even trying to sit up here and bring, you know, comments my way. Or, you know, people that has, you know, put bad vibes towards my life and have enough nerve to come back and comment on something. I'm just like, you know what, since I already knew what kind of agenda you were on, I'm going to block you as well. So it's just like when you keep going because there's people, you know, you're always like, why do these people come at me like that? Why do they do these things to me? When you know that people wake up arguing with themselves and the more, those are the least ones you need to worry about because they're finding fault within themselves instead of fixing what's going on in their life. They tend to want to poke and pry into other people. So I'm like, stay in your lane. Please just stay in your lane. <laughs> Fix you, work on you, and then I'll work on me. I'm going I'm to stay in my business. Don't come in mine. You know, I, I just had to deal with stuff like that. So it's just like, there's sometimes that people, when they come and test you like that, you know, God, like I said, devils say that they're going to throw this in the mix. God's going to say, you know, not my child. They're, you know, they've been through a lot of stuff. They're going to allow themselves to know when to, you know, when to retaliate and when not to. Even though you don't even have to retaliate, but sometimes you, you need to respond. And there's sometimes it ain't no, per you know, it's a purpose that, you know, you need to just keep up keep it going you know because i used to allow things like that to get to me nowadays when you do that i just laugh and i say uh-huh i seen what you were going doing thank you god for allowing me to see it for what it is and you know when god allows you to see it for what it is and you don't you know you don't allow it to ruin your day you don't even let it move your vibes because it's like you know there was a situation that just happened to me <laughs> when it came to, to a certain situation i was just like oh this gets on my nerves and this and this and that, but I can't allow things like that to work on my nerves. I can't allow things like this to get to me. But you keep doing you. You keep working on you. Don't allow yourself to engage with people that, you know, that they're in insecure about their situations. Because a lot of people don't like seeing people that got strength. They feel like they know things. Because it's like when you know stuff, sometimes people are like, oh, she think she and he think they know everything. No, we don't know everything. But we know, you know, we know enough. You know, you learn things every day when you can be open minded to learn new things every day. Like I tell y'all, I love the fact I'm like a student teacher type situation. You know, there's a lot of things that I might know that I can, you know, have you look in a different perspective. And there's times that y'all share with me that I can learn things in a different perspective. And I ain't even mad at it because I never feel like I'm ever too old to learn something new. Because it's a good thing where you you open your heart and your mind to different realities or even different you know, education, that's good. You you know, you're soaking knowledge up like a sponge and that's what you need to do. You know, because there's every day you learn something new about yourself that you you weren't aware of. Or, you know, somebody can sit up here and tell you something if you know they're not being vindictive and they can pull something out that you might not even, even be aware that you're doing. And there's times that, you know, I had to be woman enough to say, you know what, I'm glad you did tell me that because I really feel, you know, I, you know what, I didn't look at it that way. So I apologize if I came at it different or, you know, things like that. When you know you can be woman enough or man enough to say, hey, you know, there's things this, this and this and that. But it's just like I'm a type of person that I would, you know, I try to ask people, hey, when you're not setting your emotions about it, when you're not in your feelings about stuff, look at it this way. You know, and it's just like, you know, when people come to me, Rosalind, this is not working out. This is not. Maybe it wasn't supposed to work out for the, you on that situation. Maybe God blocked you from that situation for a reason or things happen to you. It's just like people tell me, Rosalind, I was about to date this guy and this and this and that happened. I said, and then all of a sudden, you know, they found out that they would mess around with somebody else. That was a blessing in disguise for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Before you get somebody wrapped up and then boom, you find out the truth about this person. Or, you know, it could be a guy, you know, he really liked this girl and he really wanted to do all these things. And all of a sudden, everything started failing in their life when they were already putting plans up. And it wasn't meant for that to plan like that. It's just like people supposed to come in your life to teach you a lesson and a blessing within that, you know, situation. And you're supposed to move on. 
you should never get mad about stuff like that because that was just universe and God giving a spotlight on you. Hey, this this relationship or this situation might not work out for you in the long run. It might cause you more headache than, you know, appreciation. So you keep moving. It was like, thank you for allowing me to see that. That's appreciated. You know, and you keep doing you. So the people that argue with themselves, allow them to keep arguing with themselves, but don't engage into their pettiness. You shouldn't. I mean, I've, I've had it happen too many times, and I know you probably have it as well. And it's just like I seen that post the other day my girl had put up. I said, you know, she put some positive posts out. And it's just like certain things will stick out to me. And I said, you know what, I'm going to make a content about that. So it was just a lot of posts I might see or, you know, they'll highlight to me and say, hey, we need you to talk about this. Because like I told y'all, I hate talking about negative stuff, but it's just a lot of times you have to see it for what it is. It is what it is. You know, I'm not that type of person. You know, I used to be that type of person who tried to complain about everything. And I try not to be that way because I know everything get, you know, everything happens for a reason. You know, as in between you venting and saying, you know, I really need to talk to, talk to somebody like, about stuff, certain situations. You know, sometimes it, it's not even, you need to be able to fix it on your own. But I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Please give me your input on this. It will be greatly appreciated. And like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop me a line so I can give you a post notification shout out and hit that bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Share, please share. And you know, drop me a line so I can be able to give you a shout out on my next video if I didn't say that already. And my post notification goes out to Diane Waite, Diamond King, and Passive Restraint Productions. And Lisa Williams, much love to you. And know you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.